This is America's first production solar car, and it's called the Aptera. Now, we've been hearing about the promise of solar-powered cars for years, and Aptera says they've finally done it. So today, we are going to drive this spaceship of a car, put it through the paces of everyday life, and see if it really is the car of the future. Beautiful car! Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> the future. I'm James. He's Justin. Welcome to Donut. Q Sunshine! James, we're driving a spaceship today. Call me George Jetson, because this thing looks futuristic AF. <laughs> it looks like a metal bird. This shape apparently is all aerodynamically influenced. I mean, I can 100% tell that. Yeah. It looks like a Peregrine Falcon. The gray on black is pretty nice. The black attracts the light, gets those panels, charges some batteries, and it's all wheel drive. But the reason it's this long is because they want it to be as aerodynamic as possible without the tandem sit. This is how you get in. What? The trunk does it too. What? Bingo, look at that. <laughs> There's a lot to navigate when you're getting in, but I think you get used to it. How's the leg room? Amazing. Really good. Fully stretched out, plenty of space for my foots. Once you're in the car, the sight lines are very race car-y. Yeah, they are. Like you're just kind of in here. OK, so one thing that's really cool that I just noticed is the pedals are made out of skateboards. Yes, they are going to have a skateboard recycling program. That's sick. How cool is that? This is a pre-production model. Yes. So the, this is sort of a test bed. So some of this stuff isn't going to make it into the production model, but a lot of it will. Stuff like the screens, the steering wheel. These seats. These seats. I showed up here a little bit of a skeptic, and I do want to say that I am thoroughly impressed so far. So far. This, this is, is comfy. It feels like adequately futuristic. One of the only real cons I find about this thing is this half window pillar is huge compared to what I'm used to with the SVX. Yeah, and you're one of the only people I know who's used to like a half window situation. Yeah. Real question is, how does it drive? Let's find out. That's a cool noise. And I feel like that's the natural noise of the electric motor. That's not an added manufacturing noise. That is pure electricity. So not only is this thing solar powered, meaning it can charge itself, obviously, but to take advantage of that, it is extremely efficient. And you can gain up to five miles per hour. That's like not miles per hour of speed, miles per hour of distance if you're in the sun, whether you're driving or sitting still. So we are adding range currently. And in case you're watching this and wondering if the car will die the second the sun disappears, well, it won't. It's really kind of just an electric car that gets its charge from the solar panels on the roof. Aptera claims that the production model will have 1,000 miles of range. This is a three-wheeled vehicle, so technically I think it is like closer to a motorcycle as far as standards. Uh, that's why it's got that center headlight. We've seen this a number of times in three-wheeled sort of future cars before. This car however, exceeds safety standards for three-wheel vehicles. It has dual airbags, which is gnar, and it's got a composite shell, which is stronger than steel. And also the aerodynamics said having one wheel in the rear helps fluid dynamics. I feel like I'm in a Vietnam era helicopter. <laughs> yeah. The curvature of the windshield is bonkers. Yeah. We're going to go pick up Hawkeye and Matt. <laughs> the Aptera will have half of the roll resistance of a Tesla Model 3, which I think is probably their main competitor. You know, driving around in it and having driven a Model 3 for an extended amount of time, it's relatively comparable from the front seat. You're just in a little bit smaller of a space because it is just a two-seater. It feels like a, like a Del Sol or something. Yeah, I can see that. The only other complaint I really have about this thing that's not like a production issue is the yoke steering wheel. It's for real estate, most likely, because there's not a lot of space in here that you can just waste. All I have in front of me are the actual mirrors, so I don't have to look left and right. But uh, I just don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't like it, I don't get it. So like we said, this is a pre-production model. This is one of their many tests beds that they brought out today for us to drive and experience. But the production model will be pretty fast. It's going to have a top speed of 101 miles per hour, goes zero to 60 in four seconds. That's pretty good. Yeah, speaking of the future, there's a Ferrero. Ferrero Fiero. This pre-production model does not have power brakes. Oh, oh my God. 
All right, so we're in a priceless pre-production prototype without good brakes. You need to drive better than that. <laughs> sure, the thing that actually gets delivered to buyers will be a massive improvement on the thing that we're driving. And the thing that we're driving is pretty good. I could see some companies selling it just like this. I mean, we have driven some sketch stuff on this channel, and I wouldn't even consider this sketch. I'm not scared that much. <laughs> this is way closer to production than the first time I drove the Hummer EV. Wow. Yeah, like the first time I drove the Hummer EV, uh, it smelled like spray paint. Solar cars have technically been around for decades, but mostly they're just nerdy homebrew projects. Until recently, solar technology has never been good enough to justify a full production car. In 2022, a Dutch company released a solar car called the Lightyear Zero, and it cost $250,000. It began production in December of 2022 and ended production in, drum roll please, January of 2023. So hopefully things go better for Aptera, which is supposed to have a starting price of around $25,000. And if you want people to buy something new, make it cheap. If there's one thing that makes me hungry, it's the future. Hungry for change. So is this a viable option for daily use in America? Well, what's one thing that every American does every day? Eat fat old burgers. <laughs> Let's see how this thing handles a drive through We're gonna do a Flying Dutchman. With chopped chilies. Flying Dutchman with chopped chilies and a double double protein style with grilled onions. Uh, what drink? Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Large Dr. Pepper. Extra large? Yeah. Yeah. You guys want any price today? Uh, no. All right. So let's talk about this mysterious company, Aptera. They were actually founded in 2005 with a model that looks about the same as this one. So why did it take them almost 20 years to make it into a drivable car? Well, they went bankrupt in 2011 and had to sell all of the company's assets. Then they relaunched in 2019 and managed to raise millions of dollars in funding. Their website even has an investor leaderboard, so you can see how much money people have invested in the company. And whoever gets the highest score gets the very first Aptera. They've taken over 40,000 pre-orders for these cars and claim they'll be on the roads next year. So fun fact, we were literally sitting in a parking lot filming beauty shots and a guy walked up and was like, I've invested in this company. <laughs> yeah, and he's waiting for his. And that's actually how I know Aptera. Back when I worked at a parts store, someone came in and was just super excited and would, wanted to talk about it. He was like, there's this cool company coming out with this car and I'm so down for yeah, it. Yeah, so like Aptera as a concept and a company has been around for almost 20 years now and they're finally delivering the product to the consumer. You know, solar, powered stuff is becoming, I wouldn't say the norm, but more normal than it ever has been. How are you? How's it going? Large Dr. Look at this. Does it fit? Dude, oh my God. XL, baby. <laughs> oh my God, how many grams of sugar are in this thing? There you go. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Ultimate test of American Daily. Drive through, killed it. You only had to back up once. The only thing it needs to do now is drive across the country. Beautiful car! Thank, Thank you! you. <laughs> the future! Yeah. <laughs> that guy just said we had a beautiful car. So you can charge it with the sun while you're driving, you can charge it at any charging station, or you can charge it with 110. Which means you can charge it anywhere. Plug the Aptera into any standard outlet and get up to 150 miles overnight. We told you, you can charge it anywhere. So James, how do you feel, man? Riding in the passenger seat, what are you thinking about this car? I will say that I am pleasantly surprised by the overall utility and usefulness of this solar powered electric car. A lot of manufacturers go with weird video game polygon future, uh -huh. and that's, that's not what people want. People want elegance. Yeah, this is a smooth, organic future, like a pebble mm. skipping across the flat surface of a pond. When you're outside of it, it definitely gets looks, and it looks different than any car that's on the road, which, you know, could be a good thing depending on who you are. But once you get in it, I mean, it's a little small, but other than that, I forget that I'm in a weird car. And it's an electric car. At the end of the day, it's got tons of torque. It ain't slow. This isn't like a really, really kind, low CC kind of engine, you know? This is half the size of a Tesla motor, a lot less weight, 
solar powered and it goes zero to 60 in four seconds. But I love the design. I love the surfaces. I love the colors. I love the fonts on the screen. <laughs> I think I would rather have this than a Tesla Model 3. Yeah. If you have a family, this would have to be a second car. Yeah. This is like a commuter car. There's no room for the kids. This is a two seater. I could drive this. Yeah. I, I live within three miles of work. I could drive this. Yeah, you could charge 100% every day. All right, Justin, is the Aptera a viable daily driver of the future? I think so. We've been driving around for about four hours now, yeah. gaining five miles per hour. We're gaining range currently. Thanks to that team for letting us drive this thing. Super cool. Thanks to you guys for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss anything. We upload stuff multiple times a week. Go to donutmedia.com or Zoomies. Get yourself some donut apparel or accessories. I love you. The future is bright. The future is bright. It's powered by the sun.